What is up as a figure hunter and today we're going to look at the heart rate accuracy of the new Amazfit Balance watch when doing CrossFit or high intensity interval training, which is some of the most intense or difficult to keep up with type of workouts for optical heart rate sensors when worn on the wrist because of the fluctuant heart rate, the higher intensity, as well as all the wrist flexion when doing barbell work or dumbbells or moving, walking on your hands and things like that. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. If you're new to this channel, I try to do three things. One is test devices for the purpose of CrossFit or high intensity interval training, but also looking at the wellness, recovery, sleep analytics, in addition to training load. Number two, to try to take an objective and comparative analysis when looking at new devices instead of saying here's it has this feature to say well is that feature or the way that they're handling that feature as good better or worse than some of the others on the market and three to have sort of a no frills video i don't have any sort of special transitions or background music i'm just primarily focused on getting content out now the amazfit balance is a watch that came out about three or four weeks ago and i've been testing it for that same period of time and it is a gorgeous watch just out of the gate on top of that, it's a highly affordable watch at $230. And on top of that, it boasts and promises to do both an in-depth sort of spectrum of wellness and recovery and sleep analysis aspects, as well as an in-depth spectrum of training, training effect, and recovery time analysis. So all of those things, especially and primarily on the training side, come down to the level of heart rate accuracy. If device is not keeping up with the intense portions of the workout, then it can't possibly provide high level analytics for your training and evaluating the intensity of your training this week relative to last week or how much recovery you need. Because if it's not keeping up with that highest intense portions, it doesn't know that you actually might need much longer periods of recovery before the next hard workout. So the final review for this is going to come out in the next few days, but the first thing I want to get out is an in-depth analysis of the heart rate accuracy when compared to a heart rate monitor. We're going to look at it in two simple ways. First, we're just going to look at a series of graphs where I track the workout on a heart rate monitor relative to on my wrist on the watch itself, and you can compare for yourself sort of objectively how it's doing and keeping up things. And then we're going to look at an analytical comparison when, you know, one for one ratio, one heartbeat tracked on the heart rate monitor relative to the watch itself, laid out on a graph to see what the correlation differences are and compare it to a couple of industry leaders. So with that, let's dive into the charts, look at the correlation graph, and then talk about it in summary. We're going to see just how it compares to a, a, um, a heart rate monitor. Um, obviously, it wasn't perfect in every instance, but a lot of these optical heart rate sensors worn on the wrist aren't as well. Here you can see the actual heart rate monitor in blue and the purple is the Amazfit balance. So that's the distinguishing difference in almost all of these graphs. So the Amazfit balance was overestimating the heart rate, but it did pretty good and it did excellent on the lifting portion in the beginning, as well as the interval work or the EMOM towards the end. Here you can see like an awesome agreement on through the lifting, all the most intense portions up to a max heart rate of like 170 on that workout, just fantastic versus... Um, Sorry, monitor, as well as here, most of the lifting in the in the beginning, as well as the peak intensity in the middle, as well as the cardio on the back half. Here you see a slight bobble is pretty awesome agreement in the first part, all the way up through that said bobble in the middle where it just did not change directions, or I'm sorry, it changed the opposite direction. So the purple is the amazed fit balance. So it went over the heart rate line and just um, overestimated. Here you see another balance. I said this was like error one out of 11 tracked workouts. This was sort of like, I would say both of these are like half an error workout. So this was half an error. Because if you look at the lifting portion in the beginning, it tracked perfectly. Yes, the Medcon in the middle, the intense portion, it was off. And this is where the Amaze Fit balance was in blue. So it tracked incorrectly to the positive, but overall did excellent. So this is like half of an error workout. Here, another really excellent workout, just across the board, soup to nuts, all the way across. Here, another pretty perfect, although one little bobble, um, the blue is the chest strap, so it didn't keep up in that portion, but otherwise excellent. Here, relatively excellent. The Maze Fit Balance is in purple, so you see it went above the heart rate monitor in the middle there, and otherwise just fantastic. 
Another really fantastic, this is sort of a moderate steady state run or just multiple cardio, different things uh, at a lower level heart rate. Here was the major bobble. So this was like a, you know, a error plus. Um, so the other is probably in like an error asterisk, which means it's really caught like 60 or 70% of the workout here. This was like really off with, um, you know, what the heart rate monitor was relative to the device. And then here you have super high level agreement for this kind of intensity up reaching repetitively up to 160 beats per minute. And then the correlation graph. So this is going to be like, if it was perfect, if the watch was getting the perfect measurements that the heart rate monitor was, then it would be like a diagonal line up the middle. And here's where we see that it had some hair to it, you know, some, some missed points off to the side, but it really had high correlation at 0.95. Um, and you can also compare it to the Garmin Ethics Pro correlation to um, a heart rate monitor, as well as the Apple Watch Ultra. So both of these sort of the superior devices, obviously the Apple Watch Ultra at the top end of that superior device category and heart rate accuracy for most intense workouts. But uh, Garmin Ethics Pro doing slightly better, but still um, in that same competitive landscape as these two top devices. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of data points across the middle. This is like something like 18,000 data points across those 11 workouts. So just, you know, overall, I would say excellent accuracy from the AmazeFit balance when it comes to heart rate tracking in the most intense style of workouts for high intensity interval training or in CrossFit training. All right, in summary, you can see that it's actually doing fantastic. I would say across those 11 workouts, it has two sort of, Two workouts where it sort of got some parts of it off, and then one workout where it got more of that workout off. But statistically, I don't think this would shift any of your training load numbers or your recovery time estimates that dramatically to where it wouldn't be providing quality objective feedback on the level of intensity or the level of training. Obviously, it compares pretty head to head with Garmin's most elite watch, the Garmin FX Pro, which would also be the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro and any of the new Garmin devices that have the Elevate 5.0 sensor. It compares very favorably and, and very similarly to the Apple Watch Ultra, which obviously is a correlation to the Apple Watch Series 9. So it is doing an awesome job, all things considered, even with those two half bobbles, as well as the more significant bobble, compared to these high-end watches. It is doing a fantastic job. So stay tuned for the full review of the AmazeFit Balance coming out in the next few days. It's the Figure Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.